another project. It's crazy the amount of viral wrap projects we've been getting. We have a Range Rover in today, and we're gonna be wrapping this car. We have that. I think we have that. We're gonna be wrapping this car matte green. It's matte olive green. I don't even call it matte military green. Red matte army green. Military green works on a boxy type of vehicle like a Range Rover, or like a Jeep, a Hummer. You know, it makes sense. We haven't done this color. We haven't done this color yet, so I'm really excited. Dustin, are you excited? We're about to wrap that Range Rover military green. Okay. Sean, what do you think? Do you think it's gonna come out really good? Thoughts on the color? No, or? none of my, none of my work comes out good. What? You can't yeah, tell them that, you know? It's just gonna, we're trying to get business here. Oh, wait, wait, I didn't know you were recording. You have a Range Rover? You can come here. I don't like you. <laughs> Don't worry, Sean, I won't put that in there. <laughs> We're in the process of removing all the trim pieces off the Range Rover before we wrap it. This part's coming off. Even the door handles are coming off, too. Okay, so I might be a little biased when I say this, but this is definitely my favorite rap project we have done. This is so cool. Range Rover Supercharged and Matt Green. Oh, this is so cool. I love Range Rovers and I love Matt Green, so this was a combination just for me, but look at this color. This is our first time doing Matt Military Green, and I mean, I'm just so happy with how it came out. I'm glad it, our first time doing it was on a Range Rover, because I don't know any other color that would fit this car better than this. When it comes to wrapping a full vehicle like this, we always want to make it look like paint as much as possible. And I truly, truly feel like we accomplished that with this project. As you guys saw earlier, bumpers came off, trim pieces came off. We wanted to reduce the amount of seam. If it's not done right, it can look patchy. And you definitely don't want it to look patchy. Pieces like the grill and the little trim pieces on the front end, the hood piece, the side pieces and the back pieces, and even the badges were painted satin black and it just works really well with the whole military green. However, we wanted to keep the Land Rover and the supercharged badges as is. Even got the Range Rover badges to match. That way it almost looks like like this could potentially be a car that came from Land Rover themselves. We didn't want to make it look too matchy-matchy, if that makes sense. But the cool thing is just a hint, so it doesn't take away from the color scheme whatsoever. Even the door handles came off, so we can wrap behind it. And a lot of places, what they'll do is behind the door handle, like this cup area, this will be a separate piece because they can't get to it or they don't remove the door handles. But as you guys can see, this back piece, all one piece. So it looks very seamless. There's no seams whatsoever. Hey. Let me know what you think of this car. I love it. It looks so good. I'm glad that we're able to build Terry Green, and I'm glad it's on a Range Rover. If you guys have a Range Rover or you guys like this color, hit us up. Unique, specific color. It works with the Range Rover body. I'm glad that the, our first time doing Military Green was on a Range Rover, and not something that doesn't make sense, like a Mini Cooper or something. Yeah, well, I'm excited about the new Bronco. It will look awesome on the new Bronco. All right, guys, that's it for the vlog. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to work in your car, so hit us up. Our contact info is in the description down below. We got more rap projects coming up. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button, hit that little notification bell, and we will see you next time. Peace.